Sometimes people ask what DNA sequencing is. Imagine an enormous supermarket with thousands of products. Each of the cells inside your body shops in the supermarket. Each cell needs a different combination of products depending on its job in the body. Each product is carefully labelled with information about how it was made and how it should be used. This information is written in a special code, which we call its DNA sequence. In real life, different supermarket chains sell the same things, but don't necessarily stock exactly the same brands. In the same way, people's supermarkets can stock different versions of the same products. Most of the time, the differences between products are tiny, and the cells don't even notice them. But occasionally, a product is very different, and cells find it doesn't work as it should. This is important because it might affect the way those cells do their job in the body. DNA sequencing is the process of a scientist reading the information on the label to try and figure out whether a cell will be able to use that product. The scientist carefully reads the DNA sequence to find any regions where the pattern of letters is unexpected and compares it with the same region in the DNA sequence of people in the general population. In this example, the unexpected change matches differences found in products from people in the general population. And therefore, scientists assume that the cell will be able to use the product just fine. However, as in this second example, if the scientist finds an unexpected change that doesn't match anyone else in the general population, they need to think about it a bit more. They'll study other members of the same family to see if any of them carry the same change. And if, as in this case, there's still no match, they'll look at information from hospital laboratories to see if there's anyone else in the world with a similar change. In this example, there are three matches globally. So they will explore if these three people had any health problems. Using this information, scientists try to predict whether cells will be able to use the product to do their jobs in the body and offer guidance about what this means. DNA sequencing can be used to look at one product or it can be used to look at hundreds or even thousands of products in someone's supermarket at the same time. This makes it a powerful tool in helping to understand how the combination of products that we carry in our supermarkets makes us all unique.